Hello, this is Aaron here again, and we're back, and this will be part two of building my Game Boy Zero with the Kite Circuit Sword. Um, so I'm just going to dive right in. I've got all my parts kind of strewn about here and some uh, tools and things, and what I'm going to do initially is take my, my case here, and we're going to start with trying to uh, get this guy all carved up. So on the inside, I kind of already had done a little bit of work. You can see I've uh, removed all the standoffs um, and the standoff here. And that's all the places that basically are going to have to come out. So the next step we need to do is kind of clear out this uh, area right here and uh, get this whittled down so that we can put our screen protector in. So what we're just going to do here is take the trusty Sharpie what I like to do is just kind of kind of hold it on the edge here at an angle and that gives me a pretty good you know like one or two millimeter approximation here to cut Just kind of go all the way down and around. And then of course we got this last little one here. Alright, so that's not going to give us very much of a lip at all. But that's okay. We don't want much. We only want a couple millimeters. So now we kind of have this idea roughly of where we want to go. And uh, we can start cutting this thing. So a couple different ways you can cut. Um, some people like to use a razor blade. Some people like to use a Dremel tool. And I am probably going to employ a combination of both of these things. And then when I get done, I just have this little baby file that I use to just kind of clean up the edges and things. So let's see here if I See, this case actually is pretty good plastic. Like cheaper cases, like I can just cut through with like butter, but this is a harder plastic. So I am definitely going to have to go with either a thicker, bigger razor, like this guy. You know, so I can kind of take him in and carve like that. But I don't, I don't really like that. You know, and there's not much control over that. If I slip, I'm going to take out my hand the case or both so I am going to go ahead and use a Dremel I'm going to bring over into view here I have these nice easy lock cutting kit that I've used for a lot of things and they've got thin cut wheels which these are great and they're easy locked because you literally just pull this tab and the top spindle just comes loose and you can just flip these off here. But they're nice and big and they're reinforced so they'll make a nice cut. But we were, you can see I was bracing that that Dremel with two hands because yeah, one quick slip and it's done, and you're you're angry for the rest of well a while. <laughs> Gotta buy a new case, so I just kind of made some first few preliminary cuts, and they're rough. And I made sure I didn't go all the way to my line. I like I kind of like to leave a little bit just so I can see how things are going. Kind of bust off some of those plastic burrs. But you can see, like, my initial cut is not too terribly bad. So I'm making a mess in here. You can see the plastic kind of bunches up on top of here. 
I'm going to dig your fingernail in and get some of that out of there because it kind of welds itself back to the, the case. But yeah, these uh, was it retro handheld cases with the better quality plastic, they are, yeah, they are a lot tougher than the plastic. So you can see so far that's turning out good. So let's go ahead and continue on. Maybe get rid of some of this junk. off there right just gonna work it a little bit there that's still in there yep, it's gonna break it all free This is honestly one of the most time consuming parts of the project is just modifying the case. I mean with the kite board you don't have to do a whole lot of anything. So really spending your time on these cases. Most of where it's gonna be. Alright, clean up some more of my junk. jagged plastic there. So you can see that I've gotten pretty far here and uh, what I need to do now is that little edge on the right hand side, that little lip, that's kind of the trickier part because I can't get in there with, with that so I typically like to do that by hand if I can but like I said this plastic is so dense you know, it's really hard to get a good cut on it with the exacto tools. So definitely gonna have to probably use some more Dremel work here. As you can see, you know, in the corners I can kind of clean those up a little bit. Just with the knife, just gently kind of digging in there. Getting rid of some of that, that, more and more of that plastic. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good on the back side as well. So, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. How do we want to get rid of that? Maybe we can take one of these little guys. I think that sounds good. Let's try that. If it wants to come out. All right. And yes, this is my old Dremel Model 395. Type 3, it's probably, oh man, I don't know, over 20 years old now, but it just won't die. I mean, I've had this thing since I was a teenager, so. something but yeah you can see that is a much nicer cleaned up edge so now and it's gonna take my blade 
on the back side, kind of at an angle, and just kind of, you know, get all the excess plastic that kind of built up from the cutting process off. Now is where we can take that little cool file that I was talking about and we can start really kind of trimming these up. So. I just kind of dig into the edges there. But so far so good. So yeah, this is just going to be the tedious part now. I'm just going to slowly carving this guy up into those next steps. So I'm, I'm close enough onto this now where I'm, I'm good for a little bit. So I, I will clean that back up later kind of off camera. I mean, it's just going to burn up a lot of time. Uh, honestly, it's probably going to take me another hour just being a perfectionist. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my circuit sword board and I'm going to kind of lay it into the front shell here, like so. So I need to mark a few things. And what I need to do is mark on the upper right hand side that USB-C port and down below that digital volume rocker. The circuit sword doesn't normally have that volume rocker. I added it, so now I have to deal with it. So what I'm going to first do is just kind of line these guys up. Make sure this is decently lined up. Kind of double checking everything. And just mark almost each side of the USB port just a little bit. Just some little lines so I know where to cut. And then I'm going to do the same on the volume knob. Pretty wide on the volume knob. There we go. Now I have an idea of where I'm cutting. So that will be where I'm cutting here and here. And honestly, beyond those two cuts and this cut, I've got to do my two front holes and then that's the front of the case. Back's going to be super easy. I mean, all we're going to do in the back is put two holes in here for the actual rear buttons. But we're not even going to do anything with the battery door because our fancy battery here will slip in nicely here and quite just sits perfectly here. It'll you know, move a little bit side to side, but we can put some foam in there to buffer it. But no mods. Perfect fit. So, score on that one. Alright, so I will go ahead and just start cutting these with the Dremels and everything and come back. <laughs> 